Welcome to the second part of lesson one in Mastercam. Uh, this section we are going to teach you how to draw your toolpath. For that we'll be using your Haas programming workbook. On page seven, remember last semester we had the typical lathe part that you programmed. There is the dimensions and as you recall you entered all of those points so if you do not have that book handy you should pause this video find it and come back and then we will continue here in Mastercam after you have set the environment properly we want to do some checking before we begin drawing your toolpath so we'll click on view first and you want to show your grid so click over here to grid show the grid it should pop up right there that's very nice also click on planes double check that the plus D plus Z button is clicked in the construction plane and tooling plane and it is so we're good so we can go ahead and click on that to get it out of the way now let's slide over to wireframe in wireframe we want to start drawing so let's look over here to lines click on line endpoints you see this box pops up the first thing you want to do is slide over to that origin point you see this little snowflake appears plus the green cross uh, plus sign so click on that and then I want you to press on the center button on your mouse and push the space bar then this window appears. Now we're going to enter your first point after your origin. So your next point is going to be from your drawings X1.0. Put a comma and Z0. Hit enter. That box goes away, but there's your line has been drawn. So click on that end again. Now at this point, you should be able to just punch in numbers and it will automatically pop up. If not, remember hit the center button and spacebar and that window will open again. So the next dimension is going to be X 1.5 comma and it's always X first comma then Z. And this next point is going to be Z minus 0 0.25. Hit enter. Our line has been drawn click on the end of it our next line is going to be X 1.5 see our window opened up comma Z negative 3 hit enter there's negative 3 click on that point our next line is going to be X 2.0 comma Z minus 3.0 hit that and there's that line the next one click on the end the next end point we're going to ignore the radius at this point and we're going to go to X 1 or X 2.0 comma Z minus 4.0 there is that line and finally the last line that you'll be drawing here click on and enter X 0 comma Z minus 4.0 hit enter and there's your last line now remembering we have that radius to enter so we'll click on modify over the modify box click on fillet entities so click on that we're only going to do one so just fillet entities not fillet chain so fillet entities click on that you see this box changes over here and you want to enter into this box 0 0.10 you hit that and now you'll click on the two lines that will be join so this one click on it this one click on it make sure the trim entities box is checked and there is 
your completed toolpath. So now that we're done, we're going to go over to the fill it entities box. Go ahead and click on the red X because we are done with that. It goes away. We're going to go to file and save as and it will give you so you'll hit browse at this point I want you to find uh, your file that you have on the server and I would like you to name it your last name dash lesson one and hit the save button and this lesson is done and that ends this portion of lesson one I will see you next time.